Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Loops. So in our last episode, we won the war against the Tuscan regime, whom we have now vassalized. And we are able to integrate the um, Hijam Star Hunters. But we kind of lack the um, influence to be able to do so right now. So I'm thinking... Wait, we're still not the uh, president, right? So I'm thinking we actually go to war against the Alliance of Kemsala. And yes, I realize that they're currently overwhelming with their fleet power, but I think so are our allies. Overwhelming and superior. What the hell happened to the bear people? Are you guys just letting anyone be a ruler now? I think between everyone that we have on our side, maybe we should be able to um, take these guys on. And the reason why I want to do that is they're at war with the hive mind right next to them. They're kind of losing. So now would be a good chance to take them out while they're, I don't know, distracted. And it seems like both of my allies are okay with this idea. So let's give it a go and see what happens. We have declared war. You know, if things go south, then it's mostly going to be our allies that are, um, you know, going to be losing shit. But... Eh, hopefully things will go well for us. We'll see. And we've been contacted by the Lilarobius Star Administration. Oh, plant people. Okay, cool. Honor-bound warriors. I swear, everyone and their dog are fanatic military spiritualists. What the hell, man? What the hell? Construction complete. At least not everyone is a fanatic um, purifier. Good grief. Void clouds are, as far as Love Potion researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter as we know it first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Or they would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the ab abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together, another product of the primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that, given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust and gravi gravitic fields aligned in a flexible approximation of neural pattern pathways. I don't know if I read, or aligned. Okay, so that's a verb. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another, if not outright communicating, light years apart. Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. They will not stand in our way. Okay, so we just get damage to cl void clouds. Probably one of the more useless um, things, but oh well, complete. that's okay. And please build a research station there as well. And the Oplug. Op Click. Allied sides have become more xenophilic? Good for you? I guess? It seems that these guys kind of shift their stuff a lot, which is interesting. System survey complete. Please research that once you're done with whatever that you're doing over there. Thank you. Oh, nice! We're now the Federation President, which means that we should probably change the name of our um, Federation from Favorable Compact to something a little bit more appropriate. I don't really have anything in mind. Um, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I know I have a few years before I can decide, or before I have to decide, but I'm just gonna wait a little bit to come up with something, and if I do come up with something, or sorry, when I come up with something, I'll uh, go ahead and just give the old change a room. And if you could just build everything there, that'd be fantastic too. And we have scouted out some primitive species or another. Research. Actually, if you're done there, why don't you do the mining station and research outposts and whatnot here too. And our admiral has become a scout. Good for him slash her. And we can go with... You know what? Let's go with assist research. Quarantined world. Alpha 2 was once a large Erasian colony, showing signs of both industrial development and terraforming. As on other Erasian worlds, the fossilized, fossilized remains tell a harrowing tale. A population rapidly succumbed to the Javorian pox, 
and there appears to have been widespread panic in all of the planet's major settlements. There is also an unusually large amount of debris in orbit, possibly the remnants of a battle. Orbital Situation blockade, okay, cool. Research complete. Ah, looks like we have control of the, um, the Federation fleet, but let's get these guys upgraded because they seem to be a bit of a clusterfuck System right now. Complete. And, uh, yes please, cruisers. Or engineering facility. Let's actually go with engineering facility. That'll Special probably be a little complete. better in the long run. Ah, right. It's gonna be a lot of reading in the near future. What with these things? Tar Black secured. After an extensive search of the seabed on Cormagas 3 using a small fleet of mini submarines, the crew of the Corbat finally managed to corner the elusive target of the search, a live Tar Black. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members on the Corbat that came into direct contact with the Tar Black will require extensive therapy, but the mission has been a success. This thing always kind of reminds me of the, um... The, um... Fuck. The Despair Squid from uh, Red Dwarf. That might actually be a reference to it? I don't know. I'm just assuming, but uh, maybe not. Who knows? Please research all of these. Thank you. Please don't die before you finish this research. That's all I ask. I beg of you. You guys are probably getting together. Let's actually... You know what? Let's follow these guys. I mean, maybe not. Research what are they complete. doing? The Alliance of Kimsala is actually moving into the territory of our allies here. Unfortunate, but oh well. Biolab 2 is done. Oh, yes. Core sector systems. I mean, I should actually go for the orbital hydroponics, but you know what? We're generating more than enough food that I think we can actually just go for the uh, core se sector systems. And speaking of food, let's actually change our policies to balanced food stockpiling. Thank you. And that's good. Sivar? Sizar? Kaisar? I'm going to call it Kaisar. Or, I guess it's more Sizar. Sizar 4 is uninhabited, uninhabited, and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mi uh, mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monoliths flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical, it must surely be fictional. Surely. Image them for the archives. Nice. So are you going to go back to doing your automatic research? No, 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 no. You're going to, before you move on... Who is this? Uvko, you're Uvko. Research that, please. Ships Thank you very much. Upgraded. You're already in the like, same system, so you might as well get this done. Still don't have nearly enough, um... What's it? Uh... What's it? Sorry, not release. Oops. Shit, oh my god. Yeah, that's an influence to integrate these guys, but hmm, hopefully soon enough, because I'd rather integrate them sooner than later. Navy cluster, what you guys doing? Complete. The Tassargoid is an extremely lethal predator that stalks the dense jungles of Eldetha at night, paralyzing its prey with electric shocks before sucking their brains out with its tube-like mouth. Unfortunately, three of the crew members from the Corbat were lost to these creatures before a specimen could be secured. The Museum of Exobiology on Companion Sphere will rename one of its wings after these brave officers to honor their sacrifice. Well, that's kind of their fault, isn't it? That's on them, I'd say. And let's not attack the, um, the Dimensional Horror, please. Thank you very much. Oh, you know what? This is actually a good opportunity. If we could get our, um, transport fleet. Excuse me. Transport fleet? What are you doing? Get over here. Why aren't you following these guys? If we can get our transport fleet here before um, the enemy does, complete. we can actually take this over complete. and, um, you know, pull one over the, uh, pull a fast one over the, uh, the hive mind here. You've gotten a report from science officer Uvko. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star Derelis. Most peculiar. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find its way into a close orbit. 
A special project can be issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. Or we can gain 40 influence, which isn't actually all that much. So let's go Situation ahead and uh, research that updated. thing. Before you go, please research that and also research this. A lot of anomalies. What is your business? Why can't you do shit? Oh, right, because that's already been built. Got it. What's happening with you? Are you... are you done there? Okay, you're done there. Ah, nice. So, assist research is done, so let's go on to... I say... Eh, increase to energy storage capacity, I guess? I don't know. And... fantastic. It seems that our allies have actually managed to, uh... Secure that. Hey guys, why don't you follow our f um, allies' fleet over there? And uh, be useful and all that shit. Construction complete. We don't have wormhole range into their system. So let's change that up, shall we? Let's actually get over here and build a wormhole station right over there. Wrong place. Right over there. There we go. While conducting surface scans of Derelis 3, science officer Uvko and the crew of the Vidtok discovered what appears to be an artificial cr artificially cr uh, carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Log Great. So let's have you do it. Research those, please. All of them. Oh, you're already researching that one? Great. So after you've done that, move on to the next one. And System then I don't know if we... Oh, you know what? The Titanic Life Monitoring? We can't use that. Uh, we can't research this with, with a... Um, with a science ship, so we have to use something else. Or use one of our... thingies. Whatever they're called. Um, research slots. Oh no. Cutting linguist Bogu has bitten the bucket. That's unfortunate. I say... Un monthly Unity, 10%. Hmm. Xenophile Ethics Attraction. Tradition cost from Xenopops. Or Energy Credits. Lowered Building Cost. Um... Champion of the People. Oof. That's rough. They're all pretty good. I think Ibna might be the winner here. I don't know if we generate enough monthly Unity for that to... be super effective. So I say we should go with the energy credits. Alright, Ibna. You've been newly elected. Congratulations. Ah, yes. Got a genius. I love it. And is this place being developed properly? You know what? I think in the interest of saving some energy, let's allow our... Let's allow non-robots to farm the uh, hydroponics farms and shit. And I don't think robots actually gain a bonus to it, do they? No. I don't think so. Not as far as I can tell anyways. Yeah, you can build some shit on your own there. I think we're good. Construction complete. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Evading hostile fleet. Special what is this? Complete. Where? Oh. Okay, um, actually, can you guys get the hell out of there? You oh shit, yeah, no, um, don't get get out of there, fuck. They're gonna get caught with their pants down, aren't they? Nope, they're actually being distracted by our ally and the uh, hive mind's uh, transport fleets. So we might actually be able to get these guys out of, out of there. Fantastic. Yeah, get there, and then get on home. Okay, Gulantha's herd secured, or Gulantha herd secured. Gulantha's are large, flat herbivores that have evolved internal gas pockets, enabling them to hover a few centimeters above the ground. They move about in herds consisting of a few dozen animals, grazing on moss and lichen that can be found on the windswept plains of... Budgob. They are ruthlessly hunted by the planet's apex predators, and our biologists on the Corbat estimate that only a few hundred Gulantha herds remain. One of these, consisting of nine animals, has been successfully collected and will be brought back to Companion Sphere. Great. So that's going pretty well so far, but we need to get these guys. Holy shit, they're fast. My god. How long is it going to take you guys? Oh shit, they're going to be intercepted. I know it. Science officer Uvko managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Derelis 3. 
It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural has been dated to be in excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that the, its creators are also extinct by now. Perhaps most is, inter interestingly of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in re remarkably good condition. Don't really care about that. I kind of worry about our transport fleet. Okay, so our main fleet actually got out of there. These guys will definitely be attacked. Yep. Okay, if you guys could retreat before you die. Okay, we lost a few. We lost a few, but we managed to get out of there at the very least. Yes! More core sector systems, please! Thank you. That's awesome. Let's actually get one of these planets back. Which one here is good? 2641. 1532. 4828. I think we're gonna have to go with a Nifra. That's probably one of our better systems. So let's get that out of the uh, thing there. There you go. Where are you guys right now? Just not doing anything? Cool. Did you build a research station there? I don't know what happened there. Did we l lose it or something? We get 32% with the war score. Which is not amazing. But not the worst thing in the world either. And I forgot that we have not yet come up with a name for our federation. Hmm. What's it gonna be? <laughs> I did think of something. I don't know if it's uh, if it's appropriate, but I guess I guess it's kind of appropriate in in some sense. We are the... <laughs> oh my god. I'm so mature. Um... <laughs> Space whores. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's the name of our federation. We're now the Space Whores. <laughs> Maybe a little inappropriate for the rest of our federation, but certainly the uh, most appropriate thing ever for us. Orinthi secured. The small rodent-like creatures known as Orinthi are native to Behiram 3, where their habitat extends across most of the planet's diverse climactic regions. They breed at an extremely rapid rate and seem to have a particular fondness for chewing on electric cables. Procuring specimens was not a problem. In fact, after the initial creatures were collected, more of them made their way onto the Corbat by hatching rides on the science ship's orbital sh uh, shuttles. Exactly why the Museum of Exobiology required Orithi specimens remains a mystery. Whatever. If they want it, they get it. That's how it works. Can you guys please... Oh, you guys are actually following them. Great. Actually, you know what? Let's use these guys to um, reach places where we can't. And our transport fleet will have to just go back home. Let's actually build... Oh. I didn't realize that we could actually upgrade our complete. spaceports here. Complete. Oops. I'm stupid. That's Nifra, right? Okay. What about these places? Do they have their ducks in a row? They do not yet have their ducks in a row. I repeat, their ducks are no, not currently in a row. But it will be soon. You guys are... Ooh. Okay, we need to beat the, um, beat the hive mind to the punch here. Bye. Okay, we can't really use our own transport fleets to attack these. Unless we get some good old-fashioned wormhole up in this hizzy. So go there and try to build the wormhole station. I, I know you guys were kind of like rudely interrupted as you were trying to, uh, build that wormhole, but... Hopefully oh, shit, I... Ah, oh, damn it! I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, uh, misclick... Or, that was a misclick. I didn't mean to, uh, close that down without reading it first. Oops. My bad, guys. My bad. But, I mean... It was one of the other ones, if you're interested. I'm sure you could probably find it on the wiki or something. Yeah, if we can get a wormhole station there, we should be able to access that with the, um... With the... With the dudes. 
Shit, I forget. Uh, the transport fleets. So that's 15. That's 20. 25. And 30. I think that should be a good number. Complete. There we go. Engaged. Really? What hostile fleet? What are you talking about? Oh, these guys? Not a hostile fleet. It's like a few ships. It's like a few boats. Okay, we really need the transport fleet to get there before the um the hive mines arrive. Evading hostile uh, fleet. Not quite there yet, but as long as we can keep our mining or sorry, mining station, complete. our um, wormhole station in orbit, should be okay. We have tried everything in order to find out how the ceramic pot ended up in st a stellar orbit. Maybe we're all crazy. Maybe it doesn't even exist. Guess what? We tried calculating around those facts as well. We're done. There's nothing more we can do here. The only plus side is that we had tons of time to spend on philosophical and economical questions when we could not stu uh, stomach to keep investigating that damn thing. Ah, nice. We get some extra influence complete. there. Oh, they're going to leave the um, remote station alone. Great. Let's invade. We might be a little... Complete. Uh, not staffed enough with the um, fleet here, but I think we should be okay, possibly. They might not, uh, I don't know. I don't know if, we're, if our army here is strong enough. Maybe we should get a general just to quickly get this done. You know what? It's going to be temporary, but yeah, let's just get a general in on this. They might make a difference here, possibly. Okay, we're seeing some positive results. Let's get... Uh, yes, let's reduce the increased tradition cost caused by numbers of colonies. There you go. Huh, nice. Fantastic. Snirans are large burrowing creatures that live beneath the dunes of the vast equatorial deserts on Unur 2. When these predators sense movement in the sand above, they immediately raise dozens of tall spikes from their backs in the hope of impaling something edible. Finding a suitable specimen proved difficult at first, until hundreds of tracked remote-controlled drones were dispatched across the desert in random directions. This led to the discovery and procurement of an unusually large specimen that had grown more than a hundred spikes on its back. Great. Cruise Cocoon is ours! Nice! Fantastic. Get these guys back up. Thank you for your help, hive mind. I know that's not what you were hoping for. Oh, ho, suckers. But uh, let's move on to their capital. I think taking over their capital should uh, net us a lot of uh, war score, possibly. What happened to our uh, science dude? He dead? Science dude? Shit, I think our science dude dead. Are we done with the... With the animal research? Not quite. The ravenous Zulkor. Please research that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think we've had a lot of research. science uh, or scientists get to level 5 before they uh, croaked. Which is really unfortunate. Energy weapons? Uh, sure, I guess. It's the cheapest one there, so we might as well. And you guys are... Okay. Oh shit, Kim Salah's already been taken. Fuck me. When did that happen? That was fast. Okay, move on to Trip Tripitit. Shit. These guys are beating us to the punch now. Crap. Um, okay. We've been Ah oh, crap. Shit, maybe it's just that we don't have enough um complete. sensor range into their stuff here, but fifty nine percent. Can we please vassalize you? Shit. Can't. Ah, crap. We might not win this. We might not win this. Okay. This planet is already down. Go ahead and just land. I don't care. Uh, and let's go with um, Physics Lab 2. It should be pretty helpful, I think. If you guys enemy could troops. get over here. What enemy troops? Where? What are you talking about? Cruise Cocoon? What? Oh! Enemy invasion defeated. <laughs> what? That was awesome. I didn't realize that our allies actually um, were doing something about that thing. Fantastic.
No defending general. This planet is as good as ours. 73%? Uh, not quite where we need it to be. Tripitit was... Incoming transmission. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Damn it. That really sucks. System survey complete. Yeah. We'll vassalize the rest of them, which is fine. But I was kind of really hoping we could actually vassalize them before they got they got deaded. The Mem aliens. What the shit are you guys? What is your business here? System survey complete. Special project complete. Zulcor swarm secured. The Zulcor are swarming insect analogs. Unusual both for their large size and the fact that they are lithovores, feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground. One of the shuttles belonging to the Corbad sustained serious damage when it inadvertently passed through a large swarm and several Zolcors began to feed on the tull. The construction of the, spe of the special containment facilities required to hold these creatures has already begun at the Museum of Exobiology on Companion Sphere. Excellent. All of the specimens asked for by the Museum of Exobiology have been secured. The museum has grown to a massive facility with artificial gravity generators and atmospheric processors are used to simulate environments of over a dozen worlds. Visitors are journeying from all across the Empire of Love to see its wonders. Excellent. Nice. That went pretty well, actually. I'm genuinely surprised at how well that went. Because generally it Ships turns into a bit of a slog, having to go to like places far beyond our means and trying to do shit. And these guys are now our vassals too. Great. But that does mean that we will have to contend with these dudes who are quite intimidating, to say the very least. Kemplar refugees arrive. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen uh, the refugee screen before. A battered fleet of small civilian vessels carrying Kemplari fleeing from the Havariga Collective have arrived in our space. After we supplied them with food and provided medical attention to their wounded, the refugees were allowed to settle on Reld Tehirk. These ragged and frightened refugees are survivors from the extermination program being carried out by the Havariga authorities against their species. They only made it out thanks to the efforts of a hastily organized underground railroad and a few sympathetic merchant skippers. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure these guys aren't liked by anyone because they're probably genocidal. Except they are in a defensive pact with these guys. Shit. How do I convince you guys to drop them as your allies? Uh, look! Everyone and their dog! is a fucking militarist spiritualist. Look. So many of these guys. Okay, not not too many, but a significant number of these dudes. Okay, so we found our first um, fallen empire. Great. Um, maybe there's one down here? Maybe one here? I'm assuming? I could be wrong. Either that or there are... If, you know, if my luck is... Uh, if my past luck is anything to go by, they're all bunched up here, most likely. <laughs> that would actually kind of make it a little terrifying. Science ship under attack. What? Evading hostile fleet. Science ship lost. Fuck me. Where is this? Shit. Who did we ship lose? Upgraded. Rima. I don't know who the fuck Rima is, but um, they've croaked. So too bad. Oh right, we did change the name of the uh, federation. Do something very, very mature and not at all crass. Construction Got it. Complete. Research complete. Oh nice. System I was actually just complete. about to check to see if that research was nearing completion. And it did. Let's go with the Xeno Zoo as our next thing. And we can finally take another planet out from a sector. Actually, let's not create a new sector. That's not what I'm looking to do. Nope, not at all. We could actually colonize this place. Do we have anyone who is able to colonize them? Besides our... Oh, this is a Sav Savannah, Savannah world. Okay. I misread that. I, for some reason, thought it was not a Savannah. But it is a Savannah. Let's land you guys over... Here, I guess? So not you know, taking up the mineral space. Yeah. Tilk Tidarb. That's fine. 
And do we have enough? We still don't have enough influence. I mean, it's been fluctuating back and forth. But yeah, we don't have enough influence to um, integrate these vassals of ours. Do these guys still hate us? No. They're actually... Whoa, they actually kind of like us now. That's awesome. See, I told you, everyone eventually comes around. Everyone eventually learns to love us. And that's the love bot way. Believe you me. Hmm. Can we build anything here? No, right? Okay, fine. Let's make sure that we at least have a solar panel network on each of these. Okay. Let's go with... Oh, cruiser. Hell yes. 88 months. Holy shit. That's crazy. But you know what? We'll go for it anyways. And we need to get a new scientist, please. Yeah, you know what? That'll do. And go ahead. Do your automatic exploration crap. If you guys could please merge, that'd be amazing. And uh, come back company. home, as a matter of fact. Because you guys need to be following the First Navy cluster here. Yeah. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Yusam 6. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Sadly, it did not say Cha, short for Cherry Face Chippendale, but one can only hope. Alright, well, that's gonna have to be it for this episode. Um, in our next one, we will. I guess continue to improve our um our uh, research technology and maybe get some more core sector systems and possibly unlock the uh, entirety of this thing that'll give us plus two to um core sector core system limit and then maybe even gain the ascension perk that gives us plus five to um system limit or whatever but we'll see so for now Thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.